In the 21st century, fixed-wing fighters are the alpha and omega of aerial warfare. Rockets, bombs, missiles. They bring a lot of scary metal to the table, and it's all guided right to and through your front door. Rewind 100 years, and fighter planes didn't exist. Aviation was in its infancy, and armies were still trying to work out how to deploy them. When World War I broke out, this mostly meant reconnaissance. Initially, aircraft actually in World War I were not used uh, as fighters because they were mainly used to provide an advantage by observing the enemy troop dispositions. But gradually, those who were in the air realized if they could shoot down the enemy's observers, that would give their own side the advantage. German and British planes began attacking one another. First, pilots used their service revolvers. Unsurprisingly, it wasn't very effective. The logical solution was to use fixed machine guns, but on an airframe enveloped by wings and struts, this was no easy task. When machine guns were positioned right in front of the cockpit, uh, the propeller presented a problem because it was spinning right in front of the line of fire. A bullet fired at the enemy could destroy your propeller, causing your plane to crash. As this crude experiment illustrates, the bullet really does hit the fan. This was a brief instant where one bullet from a Lewis Mark II machine gun passed through the blade. What was needed was a device which would enable the pilot to fire without hitting his own plane. Anthony Fokker, an inventor from the Netherlands, found the solution. Known as the Flying Dutchman, his invention would revolutionize fighter planes. Fokker came up with an interrupter gear. It was a timing mechanism in which whenever the machine gun bullet was getting to where it was firing, whenever the machine gun was firing, it would interrupt the fire when the propeller was in front of the machine gun. The propeller is mounted here on the front. Engine turns, turning the propeller. Now picture back here, your cam. Smooth surface with a small hill or bump on it. A vertical rod resting on the smooth surface with a series of hinges coming back onto a horizontal rod. When the bump on the cam raises the red following rod, the horizontal rod is depressed against the spring in the breech block of the machine gun, thus interrupting the fire. The interrupter gear transformed planes into fighters. Pilots could now fire their machine gun using a dedicated button on the control column allowing them to simultaneously maneuver the airframe and take aim on enemy targets. It also meant that rear gunners were no longer a necessity, and increasingly, air forces began building solo fighters. 